What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focus. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a great baseline out-of-bounds set that UConn used against USC in the Elite Eight that I call Counter Curl. It's a really simple action, but also really well designed by Gino Oriyama to get UConn a basket. They were only up three with five minutes left to go in the game. This was a crucial two points for their team. I put a star right here because this is Paige Beckers, and this is going to be the player who they want to get the basketball to. Beckers is going to start by setting a screen here, and it looks like this five is going to come down off of it, either to the basket, this way or this way. They're going to see the defenders in there, and they're going to pop back out. I would say they have an option to come in or to pop back out. Now, I call it a counteraction because usually if a player screens here, more likely than not, they'll get a screen and they'll come out this way. Or if there's no screener for screen the screen action, action, they'll just come off and slip to the basket. In this instance, they actually are going to come back across this way, and that's why I call it that counteraction where they're going to come across the grain. Now, on the other side of the floor, this player is going to turn, and this player is going to turn like they're setting a screen, but at the last second, the one is going to pop out to the corner. This is really important. This is where all the details make a difference because they're going to open up a gap for Beckers to kind of cut into and make this curl off of. The four is going to set a screen, which also puts them in a bind. So now here comes Beckers. This defender's out here, and she's going to curl off of it. Now, there's obviously other defenders. You have Four's defender who could be right here. If they overcommit and they jump out to Beckers, then we can get Four on a potential slip to the basket. So it really puts them in a difficult situation, but Beckers is going to curl off it. She's going to catch, and she's going to knock down this shot. So well-designed play, easy opportunity to get two points really close to the basket, in a situation where UConn needed it the most. Let's check it out. So here is UConn. We're going to see Becker is set in that initial screen. And this player looks like they're coming down, but they're going to pop up high because Becker kind of pins those defenders down. We could go over the top and we could get a shot here. These two players look like they're setting a double screen. This player is going to come off the screen instead, and they're going to pop out to the corner. Now we're going to get a second screen from this player, and Beckers is going to curl right in this area. And you see how opened up that area for her to curl. The defense is worried about this player who's going to come off the basketball and slip. If this defender jumps out, she's wide open on the slip. That's an even easier two points, so they have to stay home. Now, the, the only other player who could help here is probably the inbounder if they were playing off the basketball a little bit. But a lot of times they sit in the paint in the middle. They might get out and they might get a closeout on, on Beckers, but it's still going to be difficult even from this spot as they turn. She's just going to catch it and get up a quick shot. Well-designed play by UConn where all the details make the difference. When you look at this play at face value, you see a player coming and curling off a screen. But when you look at all the details, how Becker sets up her defender, looks like she's screened and turns her back. It looks like a double screen. This player pops to the corner, and then she comes off that screen and curls off it. It's all those little details that make a big difference. And what's a really simple action, but one that was highly effective for UConn, in this game. If you like this set, then hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.